Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I am your host, Jonathan Parkinson, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at installing the Oracle VM, which is a virtual machine. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration of it. Uh, when I start this up, I am running Ubuntu on my Chromebook. I am running this on the Acer C720, but as you see, I have a full-fledged Windows operating system running as well. So I can minimize that, and there you go, and everything is included. Uh, you know, you got your full thing running. Uh, I have full mouse support. I also have keyboard support. As you can see, I can move that up and down. Um, as well as when I come out of my window, I have full support inside of my uh, Linux distribution, my main operating system. Now, before we get started on how to get this all set up, uh, I do want to let you know that uh, this is probably not going to work for you ARM-based Chromebook users or ARM-based PC users or whatever it is. Uh, just not quite this second. Uh, that's the same that goes for Wine as well. Uh, there's going to be something you want to look into, and it's spelt Q-E-M-U. Uh, now, I'm not 100% sure of how far the developer's gotten on that, because the last time I talked to him uh, was about a year ago, and he was just kind of on the midst of getting it all working for the Samsung ARM-based Chromebook, the original Samsung Series 3. That was the bestseller on Amazon for so long. And so... Uh, you might be able to get something in there. Uh, I believe there is a Google Plus community for it as well, so just throwing that out there. Uh, but for everybody else that's going to be on the Intel-based Chromebooks, uh, this is going to be for you. Uh, now remember, you are going to make sure that you do have you know, Ubuntu installed already because we're going to be doing this with inside of Ubuntu. Uh, so what you're going to need to do is go ahead and copy these, copy and paste these uh, few commands. Now, once you have all those uh, set up, you will just simply go into your applications, uh, go down to System Tools, and you will see Oracle VR Machine. Now, it's not going to look exactly like this. It's probably just going to have the new highlight, so you're going to need to press the new button, type in what you want, pick and choose the operating system that you are going to be working with, and do remember that you are going to need an ISO file. Uh, what is an ISO file? ISO file is going to be basically if you know what a, a boot disk is, if you've ever booted into Windows or any of that type of stuff, it comes with an installation CD. Uh, what those CDs entail is actually has an ISO file on there. And so what we're doing is we're just getting a pure ISO file. Uh, I happen to have a backup of my Windows XP from a long time ago, so I just turned it into an ISO file, and that's what I have it saved here for. Now, uh, there is other ways of getting it online. Uh, there's illegal ways of getting it online, so I am throwing it out there. If you want to do that yourself, that's going to be a Google search. I'm not going to point you in that direction as I don't want to get in trouble myself. Uh, but that's about it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the USB as well as uh, we'll try to get a few other things set up here as well. Now remember when you are putting your virtual machine and you're doing the new and you're kind of you know setting everything up, you want to give your system some base memory because you need to make sure it has enough memory to kind of do stuff so it doesn't crash. Uh, and then you also want to give it the option to uh, work within your hard drive. So my hard drive for my virtual machine runs alongside my hard drive for my Ubuntu. So anything that is stored in my virtual machine takes up space on my hard drive for my Ubuntu as well. So they're one and the same. So my Acer C720 Chromebook has 32 gigabytes of storage space on board and then this also uses that exact same 32 gigabytes space of storage and that's not saying that the files that I store inside my windows is going to be stored and accessible through my Ubuntu side of things that's not how things work uh, but the fine thing about that is is you can use the clipboard on both sides of things when you set that up as well as you can get your USB set up so you can just transfer files onto a USB stick and then go into your windows and then just pull them off. Now there could be another way of doing that. Uh, if you do know that, you know, I'm just getting back into all this VM stuff. I don't really do too much VM virtual box manager uh, as I like to stick with pure Linux. But if you're somebody that messes with that a lot and there is a way of doing that, leave me a, a note in the comments and I'll make sure to add that in the descriptions and help some people out there. Uh, so again, 
uh, go ahead and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, the next video will get everything set up the right way. Cool.